So welcome back to the Two Minute Yoga Solution and um, Nicole Diablo. So in the video below, we just did a practice where we just moved our body a little bit to get comfortable and we did some breathing and we did some visualizing the breath coming into certain areas of, of the brain. And I talked about it being a practice for anti-bullying or for connection, for reaching out to others, for um, really helping make a difference with relationships, ours and those whom we love. And if you just did the practice, and you can go to it in the video below if you're coming down, you might say like, well, we didn't really, you know, address relationships particularly in that thing. We didn't like visualize hugging or, you know, relationships in particular. And the reason is we didn't need to, that the yoga techniques when you practice them, they actually stimulate parts of the brain that help with all of these things. So the practice itself, and it's the regular practice that is uh, most helpful, and we just start with our two minutes a day. Uh, the research is, is still out about how many minutes a day we really need to find that uh, the effect, but they found in just like um, what two minutes hasn't been researched, we'll get to that, but uh, it's been researched for other health benefits, so definitely these two minutes give us our health benefits. But they've shown a lot of these brain changes, um, they've done um, where people have just meditated 10 to 20 minutes a day for eight weeks, and they can actually, you know, measure changes in the brain from that amount of, of, of uh, interaction. So, so something is definitely, even in your two minutes, if you're really focused, is happening. There are some changes, and as I said, they're able to measure those on MRIs, um, and they also do, you know, brain scans, where, where's the activity happening with these different focuses. And it really does help us feel connected. When we feel more connected, then we're able to reach out and get the help we need. We are less likely, probably, to be bullied in the first place if we are just really feeling that strong connection. We um, will be able to more easily walk away from those situations that aren't healthy for us and be able to move more towards those healthy situations. And again, it's really key if you or someone you know are being bullied, you know, get, get some help. You know, it's a, it's a tough place to be in by yourself. And so I say these yoga practices will actually make that reaching out to get help easier to do. So, and as well as you, the effect will be minimized. You're not going to feel so um, intensely bad about what's happening to you through your yoga practice. So you don't feel as bad, and when you don't feel as bad, it's easier than to do something proactive and really help yourselves, as well as if you're not the one experiencing it, you know, we all live together. And it's so important that we take care of each other, that we are in community. So this practice will also help you to not be ever find yourself accidentally in a situation where just by maybe you're um, not doing anything, not taking action, is uh, inadvertently supports bullying. Or sometimes we're not even really aware that a person receiving it what their emotions, what they're feeling like, but if we're a little more connected, we go, like, oh, wait a minute, that person is not seeing this as a joke. This, this, this needs to stop because it's gone beyond a joke, and you can help, and we all need to be part of the solution. So we come here together in community doing our two-minute yoga practice, and of course what motivates us is we want to be healthier and feel better, but we will even feel more fabulous, more wonderful, and healthier when we are part of a community, when we help each other to be strong and to grow and love and connect together. All right, so joy to you.